When our body is bombarded by toxins from our environment, when we are not sleeping well and we have circadian rhythm dysfunction, when we have an overload of infectious microorganisms, when we have a lot of stress on our body, when we're not getting enough nutrients, proper nutrients in our body, or any number of those factors, when those are going together, it's called our allostatic load or this kind of pressure, this disease causing pressure on our system. And when we have a high allostatic load or again, disease causing pressure pushing down on our body, it causes the mitochondria within the cells to stop producing energy and to actually go into defense mode. So they go out of peacetime physiology and into wartime defense physiology. When the mitochondria do that, they're not able to produce energy well. They're not able to take oxygen out of the intestinal lumen, the environment of the intestines, and produce energy through aerobic respiration. And when that happens, we have excess oxygen now in the intestines. And that is a breeding ground for aerobic bacteria and what we call facultative anaerobic bacteria. So these are the types of bacteria they can survive in higher oxygen environments. When we look at the kind of bacteria that survive in higher oxygen environments, they're things like Sideroobacter, things like Salmonella, things like Klebsiella and Morganella, right? These are all potentially pathogenic histamine producing bacteria. So these types of bacteria, they're always in our intestines. They're called commensal bacteria, but when they're able to grow out of proportion, they start to produce a lot of different compounds that have negative effects on our overall health. 